How do you say for the singers? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have all reasons to thank God for keeping us safe. I don't know how to estimate our number here where we are gathered here in this ground. But I am sure that the devil is not happy with our gathering. He looks for any loose chance to smite at us. But the army of angels from heaven are surrounded us. They are just around us, protecting us. Thank you. I thank you for your perseverance. I know you have been in these grounds from the morning. But because we are here for the witness of the blessings of God, may God bless us all. I want to convey my greetings from the leadership of the Eastern Central African Division in Nairobi. Pastor Dr. Brashas Ruguri could have been here. Pastor Brashas Ruguri Yagobikuba Arahangaha. Pastor Musa Mitekaro, Dr. Mitekaro would also have been here. Pastor Dr. Mitekaro Nayagobikuba Arahangaha. Pastor Jerome Habimana could have also be here. Pastor Jerome Habimana na yagombi kwara hanga ha. But because our territory is extended, ariko kubera ko aho dukore da ari hagari, and then their ministry is in different parts of the eleven countries. Bakaba ba yowara ibihu gubijira kuri chumi na chimge. So they send me on their behalf to come to speak to you. So whatever I will be communicating from here is a message from the leadership of the ECD. May God bless you all. My lesson today and I will try to be as brief as God will allow me. My lesson, the title uh, is Uravugango Iyo Wizeye Urashobora. Iyo Wizeye Urashobora. Iyo Wizeye Urashobora. In English, when you believe, you can. Yes, there was a, a, a man in the land of Spania. This man was called Justo Galego. Justo Galego. Justo Galego Martinez. Justo Galego Martinez. This man grew up in the farmer's family. He was raised by a Catholic mother. The mother taught him all the faith of the Catholic. When he was a young man, he decided to join a monastery, Catholic monastery, in order to be a monk. Now, in 1961, he had to leave the Coventry to become a monk when he contracted tuberculosis. His health was not well. So the leadership decided that he move from the congregation because 
he could uh, be contagious to his fellow uh, monks. Now, this ex-monk promised God. He prayed to God. If you will heal me from tuberculosis, I will build a shrine on your honor after you heal me. So on October 12th, in 1961, he was already healed from tuberculosis. And he started construction of the church. The land he was inherited from his parents. And most of the building materials it was just recycled. Because he had no money to go and buy new things, construction materials. And a Galego every day started his work at 6 in the morning and he worked faithfully for 10 hours except on Sunday because he was a Sunday keeper. You know what? After 60 years of committed hard work, Galego died. Galego he died on November 28, 2021. Just two years ago. But, but his job was not finished. If you, I could have a, uh, a projector to show you the building, it is a very big building. Pastor Umuremi can see it here. This man was committed every day from the morning to evening, morning to evening, for 60 years. He had no other business. His business was to keep his promise to God because he promised that he will build the church. One day, when he was being interviewed by the New York Times, they interviewed him, why did you start building this whole big building alone? Listen what he said. He said, I saw the communists destroying all the churches here with the people laughing and, and dancing on the ruins of the uh, uh, destroyed churches. But when you, can, when, when you believe you can then also build with your own hands Beautiful new place. He was not happy when he saw the churches being demolished. And those people who were demolishing the churches were laughing. And so he said, Because I believe. I can build with my own hands another good place, good church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell you, one day, when the man was dead, when the man was dead, the municipal of uh, Madrid where Martinez was there, the mayor of the municipality gave a statement about this man. 
agira ijambo avuga kuri uyu mugabo listen what was written in that statement umva icyo uyu mugabo yavuzweho he said yaravuze ati by tenacity and faith where his hallmarks kubwo kwizera nibyo byamurangaga stone by stone ibuye kurindi he built his dream yobaka ibyari ndotoze attracting visitors and media people interested from all over the world bizana abashitsi ndetse n'abanyamakuru batunze kwisi yose the spirit of his work umwoka yabyubakoreshaga yakoreragamo will remain eternally in the hearts uzahora mu mitima of those who admire that church mubifuza ubwiza bw'inyubako a work of genius built on a life long a umurimo wakozwe mu buzima bw'uyu muntu imovable immovable qualities of faith mu kwizera kutanyeganyega perseverance kwihangana and dedication no kwitanga Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here is the man if you could see the picture. He is an old man but he is very cheerful. He is cheerful because he has accomplished what he planned to do. Let us pray. Dear God. Data. Our hearts are longing to hear your word. Teach us Lord through your Holy Spirit. Touch every heart which is represented here today. Give us the spirit of gratitude to what you have done to us and what you are continuing to do for us. In Jesus name, Amen. 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 Now when you go in the book of 2nd uh, Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 up to up to 5 Mujishe cha 8 gwera ku murongo wa mbere kugira kwa gatano The Bible says Biblia iravuga iti And now brothers and sisters We want you to know about the grace of God that he has given the uh, the churches of Macedonia Turagira ngo mumenye ubuntu bw'Imana yahaye bi Macedonia In the midst of a very severe trials, uh, the overflowing joy and the extreme poverty welled up in rich generosity. For I testify that they gave as much as they were able and even beyond their ability entirely on their own they urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service of the lord's people and they exceeded in our expectations they gave themselves first of all to the lord and then by the will of god also to us my beloved The Macedonian churches it was like a district it was like a district with the three churches the church of Philip the church of Thessalonica and the church of Berea these comprise the district of Macedonia So we can learn a few things from the lessons from the Macedonian churches. The first thing that we can learn from the Macedonian church is that the Macedonians received grace from God. They received the grace from God. They recognized that God is the source of all blessings. The blessings of material things the blessings of physical health 
and also spiritual blessings. All gifts and talents are coming from God. Yes, when you believe, you can. When you believe, you can. Lesson number two. The Macedonians responded appropriately to the blessings of God. Being given the blessings by God is one thing. Is one thing. And responding appropriately in, in the manner which is good before God is another thing. Every individual has an obligation to, uh, uh, to respond according to the blessings that God has invested upon him. Unfortunately, Many of us use the God-given blessings selfishly. Yes, when you believe, you can. When you believe, you can. Turn to your neighbor, speak to him, say, when you believe, you can. Tell him. Tell him, when you, if you believe, you can. Lesson number three. The Macedonians endured severe trials. Their lives were not, lives were not comfortable. Most of the Macedonian converts experience persecutions from their relatives. And also most of them came from the poor class of the society. And so when they were giving, they were coming, they were not rich. Yes, when you believe, you can. Lesson number four. I promised I will rush because of time. The Macedonians experienced extreme poverty. And you know, the history of the people of Macedonia says that they were involved in a period of 66 years of war. Each time there was a war, there was an unrest. There was no economic uh, in a production because of the wars. But in spite of the unrest and the poverty that they had, they were generous in giving. Hallelujah. Yes. Yego. When you believe, you can. Tell your friend, when you believe, you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lesson number five. Despite their distress and deep poverty, they were rich in generosity. You know, even if they were poor, even if they were distressed, they loved to give. They gave according to their ability and they went beyond what they had. In a baseline, they gave voluntarily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you believe, you can. Whatever, whenever, or wherever, anything happens, what you, when you believe, you can do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lesson number six. The Macedonians pleaded for the privilege of sharing the service of the Lord's people. Uh, 
Instead of being asked to give, they were the ones now who were pleading to the readers to secure an opportunity to give. They did not wait for promotions. They, did not want, they don't, uh, didn't uh, wait for the visitation of the deacons. They, they didn't wait for the visitation of the stewardship director. They just enjoyed giving voluntarily. I can imagine a, a, a church member in Macedonia going to a pastor. That, Saying, Pastor, do you have an opportunity for me to give? Pastor, God has blessed me. I want to give. Is there any chance? This was the grace of God given to the people of Macedonia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you believe, you can. You can. Hallelujah. The last lesson. Macedonians gave themselves first of all to the Lord. They surrendered their hearts to the Lord. They surrendered to the Lord all they had and what they were. They were completely converted. They knew that they belonged to God. And they knew that all they have was belonging to God. Yes, when you believe, you can. When you believe, you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Martin Luther now. Martin Luther the protestant reformer once said there are three conversions necessary for the Christian life. The conversion of the heart the conversion of the mind and the conversion of the wallet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to be converted to your heart. You need to be converted to your mind. And your wallet also should be converted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the Macedonians experienced all dimensions of conversion. They were converted in their hearts. They were converted in their minds. And also they were converted in their wallets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this story of the Macedonians happened many years ago. Some people here say, come on, Pastor Nziku. Excuse us. Why are you telling us these stories long, long, of long, long time ago? Let me tell you, this story is relevant even today. Because the Holy Spirit that worked in the hearts of the people of Macedonia Macedonia is still here today. The spirit that gave Galego Martinez the dedication that he had using 60 years only alone building a church is still the spirit which is working in the hearts of people here in Rwanda today. My brothers and my sisters, uh, today we are celebrating the inauguration of this church. We have to ask God for the Holy Spirit 
so that he can give us the desire that has been in the hearts of the people of Macedonia so that we can also be passionate in giving for the work of God. Let us ask God for the same spirit which is inspired our brothers here to sacrifice everything they had in order to give God glory by building such a beautiful building. We need that spirit. Let me tell you, our brother Buziki uh, with his friends they believed and they did it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you believe you can do it. Some uh, scientific researchers discovered the following. Uh, they discovered that an average human being when he is at rest like, like when you are resting like here you use 8 liters per minute. 8, 8 liters of air per minute. And so per day we are using 11,000 cubic liters of cubic meters of the of the air that we inhale. Is it uh, a small amount of air that we use? It is many uh, times. And so I made an assumption. Uh, if this air that we are breathing we take in we take out if it was to be sold if a meter gauge could be installed in your, in your brain or somewhere so that when you breathe each minute you need to pay and I assume that if you, you use one minute eight liters, and if it will cost for one Rwanda franc, it means for one minute, you will have to pay eight Rwanda francs. Just for one minute. If you will use one hour, which means 60 minutes you will be using 480 Rwandese francs for one hour and for one day 11,520 Rwandese francs for uh, one week you would use 80,640 Rwandese francs. For one month, that is a, uh, 28 days, you will use Rwandese francs 2,257,920. But the air that we are breathing is given free by God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Mention all the blessings of God, quantify them. We are breathing freely. We are drinking some water, fresh water, almost freely. We are enjoying health. We are enjoying friends. We are enjoying moment for worship. You know other countries, you don't have this moment of worshiping. What have you given to God for the blessing that He has given you? 
God asks us to give not from what we don't have but from that what we have. He first blesses us and then invites us to give. When you believe, you can. When you believe, you can. You still remember the story of this poor widow woman who gave just a few, uh, just two copper coins in the box. And Jesus declared that truly I tell you, this poor widow woman has put more in that box uh, than all of them. For they contributed out of their abundance but she, out of her poverty, put all that he had to live on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ellen White commenting on this woman. In the book AA, uh, Acts of Apostles 175. She said, her heart I mean the heart of this poor widow went with her gift. Its value was estimated not by the worthy of the coin but, but by the love of God and the interest in his work that had prompted her to, to, to give. So that woman when he was presenting to, to, to God that uh, two coins it was as if she was presenting his heart. Yes, when you believe you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving is an expression of love. When you give, you are expressing yourself that you love. I came across a website of a certain church in America. Yeah, they had these words about giving. I don't know the man who wrote, maybe the pastor of that church. But I was interested with the words that he said. He says, without expression, love cannot survive. It means in order for the love to survive or to be there, you need to express it. He continues. We know that genuine love finds expression in giving because of the example we have experienced in the love of God. His love found expression in the gift of his son. In order for God to, uh, to express his love upon us, he had to give his only son as a sacrifice for our lives. What do you say, church? Hallelujah. So Jesus expressed his love to humankind by giving himself as a sacrifice for our salvation. In the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13, the Bible says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for uh, one's friends. The Macedonians express their loves by giving. 
Justo Galego also expressed the love to God by building his church for 60 years. Justo Galego nawe yagaragaje urukundo akunda Imana yuba ku rusengero kumara imyaka 60. Our brother Buziki and his friends also here in Rwanda express their love from God by building him a church. Mvandimwe nawe afatanje na bagenzi be bagaragaje urukundo bakunda Imana the poor widow expressed his love to her love to God by giving all that she had. How can you express yourself to God that you love him? Ask your friend, how are you expressing yourself to God that you love him? Turn to him or her. Ask him. My friends, let us express our love to him. Not only by words, but also by works. I read another article in the website. It is with the title, Five Ways of Expressing Love. Number one, you can express love by gifts. It, it, it means by giving. Number two, you express your love by actions. It means by doing. You can also, number three, express love by time spending. You need to spend time. Our friend Buziki with his friends uh, used a lot of years to build that church. And also you can express your love to your loved ones by touching one. By, by showing affection. Lastly, you can express your love by words. So, if you cannot, the actions should precede the words. Don't just tell your friends that I love you without any action. Show them that you love them by giving, by giving gifts, by doing actions, by using time with them, by having a touch of affection to them, and then by words that I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you believe, you can. When you believe, you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you agree with me that we need that grace of the people of Macedonia? Stand up, stand up. We need that spirit. Stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will now invite the president of Rwanda Union Mission so that he can commit us in the hands of God and pray and pray for us that we have that grace which was in the heart of the Macedonians, the grace that have in the in the heart of uh, uh, Galego, the heart that was in the heart of our brother.